Hey boys and girls, it's so good to see you back today. I'm Miss Susan and I'm so glad to welcome all of you here today. I think it would be great if we started our time together with singing a song. So let's stand up and get ready to sing a praise song to God. You guys stomp your feet like that? Now let's clap together. That's it. Keep it going. Let's sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, keep clapping now. Sounds good. <laughs> Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Yes. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. That sounds so good. That's called clapping on the back feet. All right, sing this real quiet with me now. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. It makes God so happy when we sing praise songs to Him, and I love to see your smile and sing songs too. Now that we have gotten started with our praise and worship, let's think about our Bible story. And in order to do that, we need to sit back down. So let's say our Topher rhyme together. Toe for the gopher, one, two, three. Digs a hole right under me. Slowly I start sinking down till I'm sitting on the ground. Yay! I love that little rhyme, and you do that so well. Boys and girls, I want to thank you for getting in your gopher holes and being ready to work together today. I'm really going to need you to help me because that silly little gopher, that toe for the gopher, has hidden our Bible story pictures all over who knows where, and I'm going to need you to help me find it. And speaking of our Bible story, our Bible story today teaches us that God can do miracles. Yes, he can. And that also leads us to our big idea, which says, God can do miracles. Yes, he can do miracles. And let's say it one more time together so it's really in our hearts and our minds. God can do miracles. Now we can go on and talk about our Bible verse. I want to teach you the Bible verse for today. I'm going to say the words and sign and then you'll do it with me. With people, that is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. That comes from Matthew 19, 26. Now let's do it together. With people, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. Wow, you did such a nice job. And now it's getting closer to time to deal the Bible story, and so let's go over our three rules with our friend Topher the Gopher. He's going to talk to us and remind us of those three rules. We'll listen up and 
then we'll be able to do what he says. Hello, children. My name is Topher the Gopher, and I'm your furry friend. We're going to have so much fun at church today. Before we get started, though, let's go over Topher the Gopher's three story time rules. Let me hear you say rule number one. Rule number one is be kind. You can be kind by staying quiet while your teacher is talking and listening carefully to everything your teacher says. You can also use kind words when you're talking to other people. Let me hear you say rule number two. Rule number two is be safe. You can be safe by sitting down when your teacher tells you to and keeping your hands to yourself. Now let me hear you say rule number three. Rule number three is have fun. If you can follow the first two rules, we're going to have a lot of fun today. I dig it when my friends follow the rules, so let's go for it. <laughs> Bye, kids. I'll see you later. You are the best listeners. Thank you so much. Boys and girls, I thought I heard something. Did you hear that sound? It sounded like someone sneezed. Did you sneeze out there? No, not you. Well, I thought I heard someone say, ka-choo, ka-choo. Why don't you say that with me? See if you hear it again. Achoo, achoo. I wonder who could have made that sneezing sound. Do you think it was Teddy Bear? Teddy Bear, were you sneezing? Oh, but look, Teddy Bear's got a piece of paper up here right under his bow tie. Let's see what this is. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, boys and girls. Teddy Bear had a picture of Topher. Topher, you don't look so well to Miss Susan. What do you think, boys and girls? Does he look well to you? I wonder what's wrong with Topher. What's that thing in his mouth? Do you see that? That's called a thermometer, boys and girls. And when you're sick or you don't feel very well, they put a thermometer in your mouth to tell what your temperature is. And sometimes that lets us know why you're sick. Well, what do you think Topher could do to feel better? Could you tell me some things he might do? I'm listening. Those are some really, really good ideas. I know one thing Topher can do. Topher could pray to God. He could ask God to help him to feel better. And when you're sick, boys and girls, that's a really good thing to do too, to ask God to help you to feel better. Because you know what? God has the power to do that. When we're sick, he has the power to make us better. Now, that reminds me of our true Bible story today. Because in our Bible story today, we're going to learn about a little boy who was so very sick. And God was able to help him. He helped him to get better. But before we tell the Bible story, we need to get our Bible out, right? So let's look over to our super duper Bible box and see our Bible inside. And let's say our special words together and then we can open the Bible box. It goes like this. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. Will you say that with me, boys and girls? It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. And when we say those words, the box pops and we can get to the Bible. Put that right over there. And there's our Bible. Boys and girls, it's wonderful to take the Bible down. There's so many wonderful stories in here that God has written and made sure that we have so we can understand who he is. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to read from the Bible a special story about this little sick boy. Boys and girls, now that we have our Bible in place, we're ready to look for those missing pictures. You know, the ones that Topher the Gopher has hidden in our wonderful space? So, let's look for our very first missing picture together. The picture I want you to find is a picture of a bed. Do you see a picture of a bed anywhere up here? I'm going to look while you're looking and see if I can see it. Oh, here it is. Here's that picture of the bed. All right, look at this bed. In the book, 
of 2 Kings in our Bible. There was a prophet named Elisha who loved God very much, boys and girls. One day, Elisha was traveling through town when he saw a very nice woman, and she invited him to come to her house and stay. She and her husband had prepared this wonderful room for Elisha so he could sleep there whenever he was in town. Now, let's look for our second picture. This time, we're going to look for a picture of a baby. Where could that baby be? Look, right down here. Look at this baby's picture. Oh, sweet baby. Elisha wanted to show the woman how thankful he was for her kindness. Elisha knew that she wanted a baby, but she could not have one. So this is what he told the woman. Next year, you will have a baby boy of your very own. She could not believe it. But it was true. With the help of God, the woman had a baby boy, just like Elisha said. And the woman was so, so happy. All right, let's see if we can find our next picture. This time, I want you to look for a picture of someone who has a sick face. You know, like Topher had a sick face. Do you see that picture anywhere? <gasps> right up here on the easel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at this picture, boys and girls. This is surely a sick person. One day when the boy was older, he went outside to help his father. And suddenly the boy started crying. My head, my head hurts. Oh, my head hurts. The boy became very sick, boys and girls. And later that day, he died. And now the woman was so, so sad. Can you show me your sad face? Yeah, I see your sad faces. All right, now we're ready to find another picture. This time we're going to look for a picture of a donkey. Do you see the donkey's picture anywhere? Oh, you can't see him. I'm sitting in the way. There he is. Here's that donkey. All right, look at this picture of the donkey. The woman got right on the donkey, and she travels as fast as she could to find Elisha. And when she found him, she fell at his feet and started crying. My son has died, she told him. Oh, she was so sad. She begged Elisha to come back to her house. And so, let's see what happens next. This time... For the very last picture, we need to find a picture of a woman hugging her son. Do you see a picture like that? Someone giving someone a hug? Here it is, up here in the paint can. All right, let's unfold this picture. There's that picture we were looking for. When Elisha arrived at the woman's house, he prayed to God to help the boy. Elisha prayed, God, please help this boy. And very slowly, the little boy's body grew warm again. Elisha kept on praying, God, please help this little boy. And then, in just no time, the little boy started sneezing. He sneezed seven times. Can we say, achoo, seven times together? Here we go. Achoo. One more time, a chew. That was seven times. And boys and girls, it was a miracle. God made the little boy come alive again. His mom picked him up and she hugged him and hugged him. And she was so, so happy that her son was alive again. Now, boys and girls, that was a miracle. That was a wonderful miracle. And just like the mom was happy and praising God, we can do the same. So let's stand up with our happy faces and let's think about how great our God is and how we can praise him. Boys and girls, thank you for singing that praise song to God. Now I want you to sit back down like I'm sitting down back in my gopher hole. When you get in your gopher hole. Thank you. In today's true Bible story, God really did a miracle, didn't he, boys and girls? A miracle is something that only God can do. It's something oh so amazing. 
And our God, our true God, is the one who performs miracles. And in the story today, he made a sick boy come back to life. I want you to think about this. Boys and girls, do you think that you could do that? Could you bring some back, someone back to life? No. What about your parents? Do you think your parents could do that too? No. What about the best doctor in the whole wide world? Do you think he could bring somebody back to life? No. I'm sure you know who that only one true person is that can do that. You're right, it's only God. God is the only one who can bring someone back to life. Just like he did in our story from the Bible today, he brought the little boy back to life. That's right, our God works miracles. He can make miracles happen. Now, that's not the only time that God did a miracle. We've talked about this before. God made Jesus come back to life, didn't he? Yes, only God could do that. And we are so thankful for Jesus, and we're so glad that God brought him back. To you life. can trust that God made Jesus come alive again because God can do miracles. Yes, he can. Hey, that's our big idea for today. I know you're going to be ready to tell your parents and everyone this wonderful idea that we've learned today that God can do miracles. But it's always good to practice so that we can say it for our parents or whoever. So let's practice it with our best friend, Topher the Gopher. You know he loves me, 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 to hear me, from me, you. Me, 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 me. So we are going to call on Topher me, 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 and let him learn our big idea. Topher looks like he's asleep, so we're going to have to wake me, me, him up. Me, 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 Let's me, say, Topher the gopher, wake up. Me, 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 say it with me. me, 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 me. Topher the gopher, wake up. Hey, what's the big idea? Did you hear what Topher the gopher said, boys and girls? He wants you to tell him the big idea. So let's tell him right now. God can do miracles. Say it with me. God can do miracles. Oh, that is a big idea. Thanks for telling me. I think goodbye. he's got it, you, boys and girls? He's, we're going to need to tell Topher goodbye. He's waving goodbye to us, so we'll wave goodbye to Topher. Till we see you again, Topher. Bye-bye. Boys and girls, it's almost time for us to wave goodbye to each other, too. But we want to have that special time of prayer, our time to talk to God and tell him how much we love him. So let's get ready to do that. When you talk to someone, it's really good if you can just think about that person. So let's just think about God, and let's just talk to him and tell him what's in our hearts. So I'll start it, and then you follow when I point to you. You say what I say. Okay. Dear God... You are so, so powerful. God, you can do miracles. You made Jesus come alive again. I love you so much, God. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. I know that it just makes God so happy when you talk to him. And I love talking to you. And so we'll say goodbye for today, but we'll be back again soon. So goodbye, friends. See you soon. Bye-bye.